हाँ तो यू आर टेलिंग समथिंग अबाउट द किड्स नो नो दे आर वर्किंग फ्रॉम दे आर लर्निंग फ्रॉम होम राइट सो इट्स इट्स अ डबल प्रॉब्लम डबल प्रॉब्लम इन वॉट सेंस because uh, yeah, especially it is for my wife uh, because she has to cook she has to manage them hmm. she leaves the place the kid will move to youtube hmm. <laughs> or he will do something else hmm. so it's a, it's a double problem <laughs> double problem so do you think kids should be in the school right now i mean they'll be off the internet or the mobile phone or the I, television I, I i'm thinking maybe i will take them completely off the school Off the school, yeah, yeah. So I might go for homeschooling. I mean, the teacher should come home and teach, or something, or they learn online. They they are learn uh, with private tuition, but we will. I will teach them. But you will teach them, and how do you plan that they do? I mean, figured out everything. So you have figured out. Yeah, yeah. I I haven't figured out all of the answers. All of the answers. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's what you're doing. I mean, it's a very different uh, kind of a move Joseph is doing. Watching R F E Unplugged on Rolling Frames Entertainment. Brought to you by Pinaka Media Works. Powered by Aroma Mask. Alistos. Namaskar. आप सब लोगों का स्वागत है R F E Unplugged के इस बहुत ही अच्छे और बहुत ही different इस बार I would say a very different uh, kind of a podcast. And this podcast I will be doing um, majorly in English because we have with us Joseph Jute. uh who's the chief technical officer at net solutions and he is a very avid reader uh, a a big technology enthusiast and uh, right now we are in joseph's den at his home and uh, where joseph sits the whole day and i am when i just, the the moment when i just entered i saw this very rare mouse which perhaps i used a decade ago i mean i mean right so that was the time of the early 2000s when this yeah, mouse yeah. this this big scroll based mouse used to exist and joseph said i am most comfortable using it and joseph has been very um, you know uh, very much involved in in all ensuring uh, best uh, uh, internet practices best uh, software practices across organizations and uh, i'm very also happy to share that joseph is doing a hugely successful podcast Thank you. these yes. days where he has built his own a set of community and people are coming in large numbers to you know speak to him interact with him and he's doing all these sessions so welcome on to uh, the show rfe unplugged joseph it's my pleasure uh, it, it it's fantastic to be here i'm i'm glad that you invited me for this particular one uh, one thing i want to tell you about the podcast uh, you know that when we were chatting about podcast yes. you said joseph don't focus on the top tier guest they have every platform to go so use your platform to promote uh, the unknown people or the or the people who are local local heroes that's exactly what i'm doing right and the people are happy about it uh, so so thanks to you for that particular advice so, i'm doing it i have been uh, following joseph uh, over uh, i would say a year i mean when uh, i think uh, you started with office podcast yeah. almost half a year ago yeah right and so we met and uh, we brainstormed over uh, a film script that uh, we were i was actually working on and i am glad to share i think that film i just told him has actually been written now and then we'll be having the next set of discussions so we have uh, very good uh, panelists we have very good advisors with rolling films entertainment who actually are uh, the leaders or, or i would say who have a very sound knowledge of their subject matters and their domains and how they contribute very willingly uh, to you know ensure that our scripts and our stories and our dialogues are right there uh, spot on and are not misleading or misguiding people in any form so joseph we were just talking about uh, you know uh, whenever i think your better half when she goes out of the home your kids are just back on to youtube so do you think uh, how how is the generation moving now over the internet and how do you ensure that uh i mean uh, they are not accessing any such information which is right now very irrelevant or inappropriate for them so uh, and i can, i think we can start with the coffee as yeah, well yeah, if you yeah. so you will do add some uh, sugar the rfe unplugged 
is all about being the unplugged experience we can have a coffee and talk yeah, <laughs> yeah. so it is it is a two way right uh, one the future is going to be all internet based right so i want them to be very much into internet doing whatever it is so in that particular thing i'll tell you one thing so uh, my my younger one is about 8 years old the elder one is about 13 years old the younger one is much into computers and internet and all of those kinds of stuff so at some point i'm he started playing roblox i used to ask what is it i didn't know what it is i used to ask what it is and then he he told me about it being in a virtual world you can create whatever figures that you can create all of those things i didn't understand i said maybe you shouldn't play this uh, because it's also can lead to violence violent thinking and all of those kind after a while i was reading a news and then i came to know roblox is going for an ipo mm. and i think somewhere around billion dollars i mm. said oh my god my son is playing this mm. <laughs> <laughs> so i read more and then i realized the future is gaming so even in the softwares that we are creating mm. our customers are saying there has to be some form of gaming in the product and what's the best way i can teach gaming the future skills for the kids without allowing them on the gaming and those 2d models and the 3d models that they can create so i said okay go ahead and do this so that's that's one thing so i want them to do it and uh, so i have a curriculum for them one is about video i want them good in video and audio so for the elder son i have started a podcast so he does that and the younger one is into all the vid- uh, video creation especially basically he streams what he plays right and he records it he will edit it in flimora and he was chatting to you about that he is very proud of that so he will he's do he's 8 years old <laughs> and he just walked up to me and he said oh what software are you using for editing and i told him these things he said oh yes i have heard about them and i'm like that 8 year old boy i mean he will just come walk running towards us right now in some time and 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 you know that's how uh, uh i think the curiosity is uh, right now at at its peak and children right now because of virtue of how we as you know parents are growing very technically uh, i mean mm. i have the access to studios and best of these i would say i'm i am proud to say it you know and i chose this uh, career um, um, more than a decade back ago and so i mean if i'd say ki yes our children will not l- know about it yet they will know about it yes. whether they want to make a career out of it or not that will ultimately be, be their own choice but right now you know you understand if you know your father is playing cricket so your your daughter and your son mm. will know the whole inside out about cricket or what how player is what is the selection and what it is and same about politics and same about films and same about technology because mm. joseph is into uh, product development yes. as well right so if he's uh, making games that you play if you if he, if you're using softwares that they are making if you're using apps um uh, that is making so basically uh, what they are captivating on is human behavior right so what children want and what your clients also demand yes. you know add gaming into it uh, joseph uh, what do you think about you know the education and can gaming and education be merged and you know so that children when they play games i mean uh, they um, can you know also you know learn on the, on the go absolutely uh, well just so before we i i answer that uh, I'll, i'll finish up with uh, my younger one so ever since i told him that you are coming for this interview yeah. and he has been looking around on oh just we are a fee and all of those <laughs> kinds of stuff he knows almost all things about you uh. and uh, i asked him would you like to intern with uh, uncle uh. he said yeah so he's 8 years old uh. <laughs> <laughs> and he wants to intern so the point that i'm saying is instead of see at least when we i grew up yes. I, i'm an elder generation to you yes. when i grew up it would be that we will become an engineer then we'll figure out what to do in life what to do in life correct right for them he is convinced this is what he wants to do uh-huh. he wants to do everything about 2d 3d video uh, all of those kinds of creations and everything and he is fully into it you talk about apps you talk about video uh, capture uh video editing uh, music everything with that he knows it uh, to whatever that knowledge that he can and now i want to build upon it and if you see india had this concept called gurukulam hmm. 
where there will be a you know guru hmm. and there will be few people around and they will teach everything the guru yeah. will teach everything everything i think the future is going to be the digital gurukula hmm. where probably i will send him as an intern to you and maybe for a month two i don't know how long hmm. but let's say for something he might intern with you and hmm. he might learn video skills then he might go to somebody somewhere else maybe about public skills public speaking skills he might learn one or two thing with that particular guru Mm. and so on and so forth right so i think that is what the future is going to be and in that future i'm going to answer the question that you asked <clears throat> see today the teaching and it is more it has actuated by the covid but teaching is more monolog it is not immersive mm. even in school even though there is an environment it's mostly it is monolog even the practical sessions that we are talking about it is not very immersive yep when you bring in games that is where you will learn a lot why do we listen to dhoni mm. why do we listen to goli mm. because that is where their character is getting developed right that is where uh, they know what's the importance of practice mm. so even for our kids we have to have immersive systems where they can so we don't tell them you should not like mm. you should have a team play Mm. no because that, they won't understand that but you put them into a situation frame games where you bring out that a possibility of lying mm. and you tell them you know what this you did you shouldn't do that this is how it has to be done see you lied then when you lied he also lied which is not good for both mm. that lesson they will never forget right right so we have to create that immersive one that's what i'm i'm trying to do at home so well. i remember a time in era joseph when you know when we were playing games you know and uh, rockstar games and all these uh, companies village uh, so they all they all came up and uh, i found when we were growing up through our teenage years so uh, i mean lot of my peer group learned uh, inappropriate language mm. and inappropriate words when when these american games when they came into mm. india right mm. uh um, I, i i hope uh, i will not name the games here but i have an i fair amount of idea what we are talking about right so um i can say it okay so a game like a grand theft auto mm. and uh, i would say a 10 12 year old uh, would be very thrilled to to steal a car and uh, run and i i mean do some missions okay that doing that mission was feeling very responsible that you are actually on an assignment and that you have to deliver but then you are smuggling guns mm-hmm. then then you are smuggling you know so that whole uh, culture you know uh, one generation had adopted right uh, and so uh, do you think uh, uh, how did our generation you know sail through it and uh, and and do you think that is it rightly appropriate for because uh, these games still exist you know the government has been banning a lot of them and making sure that you know uh, somewhere our uh, moralities are not affected you know ultimately the story or the game is all about morality it will all be very relative to every family here in india but to a large segment of the society I mean personally if you ask me I will not accept my kids learning inappropriate language or inappropriate gestures or words through games that they are playing on onto the computer screens this is a very very relevant topic uh, Ojish so I'm I'm glad that you brought that up yeah. uh and we go through this on a daily basis at home <clears throat> I don't think no, I'm not saying this because I'm a technologist I I give a lot of thought yeah technology has only amplified it and brought it out in the public yeah. in the light but i think it's a deep rooted problem we as parents and as society we have outsourced our morality to somebody else uh. and we think i am not responsible school is responsible movies are responsible politicians are responsible mm. who were like i mean corporate leaders are responsible but where are they coming from right where is the political leader coming from he had a family mm. he has a family where is the corporate leader coming from where is that movie maker coming from mm. he is coming from the uh, family he is our own family, family. Yep. what value system was imbibed in that particular family mm. so you are saying i will not agree to a uh, bad language being spoken and i told that that will also differ from every family <laughs> why are you saying it you are a movie maker uh, you could uh, easily say my yes uh, see you could easily say hey i am only reflecting what's in the society mm. everybody is speaking bad language mm. and i'm going to take it 
right uh, you remember the film that we spoke about and then i told you this is what i want to achieve at the end of it yes right so so the point is you have certain values that you want to pass it on to your family with your kids and around the dinner table you will mention that mm. around the dinner table if a kid say some bad language you will say that's not acceptable in my family yes and why you will also say why right i don't know how many of us do that today we are all very busy from morning 6 o'clock until night 6 o'clock or 12 o'clock and we don't have time try to i mean we are all basically like i mean uh, busy here yes we are basically dogs if i may say so <laughs> tied to the phones hum duniya ki bahut zyada help kar rahe hain aapko pata hai hum matlab we are like working for the world and then it's like we are just we have our back to our houses right now i am i can put it very honestly and then we are facing the world yeah i mean you know so so on the dinner table we don't have time there is no dinner the, table concept yes. also now in 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 almost 80% of the houses right now we don't have a dinner table so concept. you and i when we grew up when we were young yeah. formative years 8 mm-hmm. years 10 years 12, 12 years, years we had dinner along with the Joseph, we didn't i have, think our formative years were till the age of 18 yeah. till we, <laughs> i mean today the formative years are like 10 12 years <laughs> our true, formative true. years were 18 years true, you know till true. we stepped into graduation yeah. the first year even till that i mean i was fortunate to graduate in the same city where mm-hmm. i was so i had to come back home and you know that that balance was always there so today what's happening even if you have time even if dad and mom has time we are sitting and having dinner before the tv uh, so we are not speaking to our kids we are not spe- i am not speaking to my wife wife is not speaking to me we are only watching so when it's a passive consumption and i'm not talking to a person mm. where is moral values going to develop in a home oh. and where am i going to pass on even even though let's say for some lie might say you know i will not speak bad words i am honest whatever moral values that i have but if i don't pass on to that formative kid he is not going to take it he is going to take it from grand theft auto mm. he is going to take from any of the sites that he is browsing right you know? right so i think the the first thing is we have to pass it on mm. that's the first uh, thing that i would say so that's one okay second of course what the society talks about on a larger uh, scale we are speaking on october 2nd gandhi's uh, day but unfortunately we have become on one side we celebrate gandhi another side we celebrate goshi mm. and we have become hypocrites i'm not only talking about, i'm not going any political here what i mean to say is on one side we say and i'll give you this example from movies okay mm. i i stopped watching movies mm. i'll tell you why in most of the movies i watched there will be a girl mm. and there will be a guy mm. the guy will be chasing the girl he will go to the bus stop he will uh, chase her in college mm. uh, continue to tease her she will run away but he will continue to tease her mm. and finally she will give up and she will they will fall in love now when i watch that movie and continuously as a young kid what am i getting mm. there is a young girl i'll go chase her tease her mm. she will not like me but finally she will fall in love with me mm. that's what i'm getting mm. and continuous all the movies are talking about it have you seen any movie where you know i mean a normal relationship have happened mm. it is always about this now when i see as a formative like 18 19 years uh, kid mm. and i see a girl oh i can continue to chase her her decision doesn't matter mm. because you know in all the three movies i saw in all the three movies that is what happened mm. so this is what is going to happen with me mm. so i'll continue to chase her mm. right so we have we have normalized mm. those kinds of values mm. so the question is if i as a parent want my son to respect women and treat women with dignity am i ready to put my money where i believe that means not take them to these kinds of movies so that's what i did we don't watch any movies where things are like this which if you see almost all of indian movies like fall into this particular category so i we watch a lot of documentaries but we don't watch many of these kinds of movies where this is what it is right mm. uh so what the society normalizes when society normalizes this behavior then i can't as a do- uh, as a father of a daughter 
on one side, I'm telling my son, this is okay, but I want to protect my daughter. It's not going to happen. It's going to come and bite me. Absolutely. So that is the other thing that I would say as a society, I think we need to see uh, what values we normalize, right. what values we appreciate. So Joseph, when, when we was actually discussing about, you know, when we walk into the house or when we are at work, our children are actually accessing the internet. Yeah. Right. And they are watching a lot of videos and, you know, your son is learning. And then, uh, I mean, just less than two years ago, now our kids have access to the iPads or to whatever technology, yeah. the best we have in the house. And then we were actually also forced to buy more. Yes, because uh, we had a working uh, system environment and then we had to put them onto their online classes and everything. Now, when we are actually giving these very expensive tools to children and it's like, you know, handing over a car or a motorcycle at the age of, say, 10 yeah. years yeah. old, right? Uh, what are the ways we can protect them or at least monitor our children uh, over what they are consuming, what they are watching. I will not say consume because I, everywhere I speak, sorry, I'll bring this up point. I don't use the word content and consuming because it's not a chips that you eat. Mm. It is something that you experience and, and it impacts yeah. you, right? So uh, when they are watching all these videos and now they are accessing anything, any music on the internet and also the suggestions that flow out on then this is the recommended music and this and all, the, all that. So how do you monitor monitor that and ensure that they are not uh, watching or experiencing something that is really inappropriate for them at that particular age? Yeah, I can only speak about what I am doing. Uh, you are doing correct. Because I need, I need I, I, this. I need this not not from somebody who's far ahead in terms of technology and safety, but also coming from a parent yeah. to to uh, to. Uh, to two children one who is less than 10 years old and one who is just turned a teenage yeah uh, the, the reason is also see my I, i've not seen my kids like if you ask my dad probably he can give advice about how to bring up kids uh, my kids are still at home right. <laughs> i haven't seen them go out and you know behave yeah. in the society at large so this is not an advice to parents this is what I'm doing for safety. That's safety. It. Yeah. Hopefully it works out. Uh, is is what I would say, right? Uh, so how was the coffee? Mm. So uh, first thing, as I said, the sixty percentage of my effort goes in behavioral aspects that I'm trying to imbibe in them by talking to them, mm. including them in discussions. And uh, as I told you, my son he wakes up. The first thing that he will do is he'll go to YouTube, check up the subscribers that he has. He's eight years old. <laughs> now, he comes and says, Epa, you go and see that. So I have YouTube channel, right? Mm -hmm. So as soon as you go, log into the computer, that's what you see. So why can't I see it? Mm. Very logical question. So I cannot tell him you don't do it, but I am okay to do it because they are observing it. Yes. That's the problem that we parents kind of bring in a cognitive dissonance. They see one thing, but we are telling them, don't do this. Mm. Then the kids' minds cannot process that. And then what's going to happen is, they will start hiding it from you. They will still do that. But they will start hiding it from you. Right. So what I'm doing is, and I have, I have this is how I have practiced it. Uh, it is okay to tell you what they are doing. Even if it is wrong, so my son, elder one, he has, he has kind of learned, I mean, uh, done really well on that. I believe he will not like. He doesn't like. I, that's how I brought him. I've told him, mm. you know, if you did a mistake, mm. and if I ask you, you tell me, I will not punish you. Mm. There's no punishment. So now the second one, so the first one, at least when he does a mistake, I will kind of yell at him or I will tell him, don't you think it is wrong? With the second one, and he will tell you the truth, and he will immediately, and if I start yelling, you told me if I tell you the truth, you will not yell at me. <laughs> okay. So I have made it okay to tell the truth. Right. You made a mistake. Right. I did that, but I'm, I'm, I'm telling that. Right. right. Because of which I'm able to have a conversation with them mm -hmm. saying that, okay, you should not do this. So that's one. Two, I also tell them why you shouldn't do it. So I don't tell, I mean, when I tell my kid, the second one that don't see this or before you go to bed don't go to the device you will have to have at least one hour of break mm. 
before you go to bed i tell them why he shouldn't do that mm. it'll disturb your sleep you will not sleep properly mm. yeah, the blue eyes will affect your eye, uh, blue rays will affect your uh, right. eyes i tell them that that they get it so there is a logical reasoning whether it is right or wrong there is a reason that i'm giving him mm. he says okay fine now i will not do it mm. so the last time that he will pick up the phone, uh, device will be 8 o'clock mm. after that he will not mm. so i that's another like an, another problem because i don't have time mm. so i don't even though i might know the logic even mm. even though i want my kid to grow well oh. i don't have time to explain it so what i do don't do it kids will not accept it i mean you and i we have been anti anti authoritarian right you you graduated as engineer mm. uh, but you didn't pursue engineering yeah, yeah it I, is i pursued nothing that i studied actually <laughs> right <laughs> engineering or business and then uh, it's basically anti whatever the normal is i right? i feel you know our era was like either you get into becoming a doctor or 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 an engineer if you are from a middle middle mm. middle income house so if you were aggressive and you were authoritative oh, you can pursue law mm -hmm. i mean tum lad sakte ho to tum law kar lo and otherwise do something that either i mean you know that mainstream that mainstreaming i was at at our time i, I mean joseph if you would agree was either uh, if you were too good and you had taken medical sciences mm. so go pursue uh, mbbs or mm. uh, doctor uh, or if, if mbbs was the preferred seat either or to become a dentist or become a pharmacist right and otherwise if you had taken the non medical sciences uh, which doesn't include biology so you were set to become an engineer, engineer. and or either an architect so mm. i mean the flamboyant life that they would imagine if you were fighting uh, or you were aggressive either pursue law or become a chartered accountant so very f uh, fit and so there was nothing fluid i couldn't experience courses now you see education i mean you can study anything you can become anything and now it's like a huge change so so the 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 thing what i wanted to say is at the at the young age like i mean he is becoming a teenager my my young, yes. young elder one is becoming a teenager. teenager he needs reasons which he can fathom yep otherwise he is not going to obey so i can beat him i can do whatever i want with him he will go and do what he likes to do so if i can align myself this is what i have also learned as a yeah. my cto yeah. is that uh, i am sitting in my ac room mm. i am telling my employees you go do this you go do this they will go and do what he, they want to do <laughs> so it is better to align my process align uh, all of those things in the best interest of the company and the interest of the employees yes. then that will get done yes right so similarly the same thing here yes. so when i explain things to them and if you do this this is what will happen if you do this this is what will happen then they are able to get it now coming to blocking of uh, things mm. uh, kids knows all of those kinds of stuff like i mean uh, so kids i cannot way. yeah i so even uh, even though i might put in six digit passwords i have absolutely no idea how he figures it out he will figure it out he'll go install he will go and uninstall mm. so rather what i have done so when they were very young that's what i used to do parental control on the ipads mm. and uh, we don't have mobile internet we only have the wi-fi uh, wi internet so they'll have to connect here uh, so it is easier to control so parental control passwords and parental controls on the wi-fi router and also on the devices mm. but now that they have grown up it doesn't work mm. again what i have done is i talk to them I, so my son now the say younger one mm. on his device he has put in mm. uh, site blockages okay so from 9 in the morning to 1 in the even, uh, afternoon uh, none of the games whatever that he likes to do they are all blocked and he has done that mm. because he has done it mm. he adheres to it he doesn't try, try to break it right and he adheres to that particular thing so that is the that is the discipline that mm. yes. he brought in yes yeah so it is more of a self discipline and a self consciousness that i am trying to bring in mm. because see today it is ipad mm. in 10 years down the line it might be something else it might be a glass yeah. that is coming in i wouldn't know how to control it mm. so it is in him that i have to bring in yes so that's what i am trying instead of bringing the control from outside and kind of choking him 
Rather, I am trying to bring in from inside. Right. So, याद रखना कि हम 10 साल बाद ये बोलेंगे हमारे जमाने में ये नहीं होता था अब तुम्हारे जमाने में ये होता है तो ये जमाने जमाने की बात है कि यू नो इज द एरा टू एरा टॉक आई एम यू नो दैट आर पेरेंट्स इन आर टाइम टू हैपन देर वॉज नो फोन नाउ यू आर यूजिंग एन नंबर ऑफ एंड्रॉयड आई आई फोन एंड ऑल दीज काइंड ऑफ फोन एंड सो मेनी डिवाइसेज so i think joseph uh, techno- technically i think we have i i am blessed i will say we are we are born in the right era yes. we, have, we have seen no phone the landline phone the pager the cell phones the fax machines the email era right the the very early 2000s when it came to india i remember having my first yahoo mail or yes, hotmail. hotmail account you know and uh, and then uh, moving on to a dial up connection then the broadband era we have we have been distributors to broadband also and then the wifi and then the 4g's and all the g's which i don't know ever work in india or not let me so <laughs> 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 but we have witnessed everything i mean you know even going to uh, innovation in uh, di- uh, in the screens you know yeah. uh, the glasses that we are talking the wearables i think everything has just happened in i mean less 20, than 20 years yeah, 20 years everything 20 years mein uh, we just went into school we were just born and we just graduated from school and just in that time everything happened and then and everything happened at such a fast pace mm. that till the time we learn one thing and we learn how to protect ourselves and our near ones the next thing just just comes in yes so uh, so i mean this is a security is a constant thing in our minds right yeah so the the, the in it, it is the cyber security yep. <clears throat> is very akin in that particular sense to the physical security yes see the police have to get it every single time right Every single time they will have to get it right. Yes. Thief will have to get it right only once. Who is going to get? Thief. Ha, thief. Ha. He will keep on trying, ha. and he will have to get it right only once. Yes. The police will have to get it right every single time. Right. Second, police have what you call the geography of control, ge- yes. jurisdictions and everything, right? Yes. Thief doesn't have. Yes. Ah, uh, somebody in Russia can try to hack me. Absolutely. Not only in Panchkula, hmm. but only the Panchkula police will try uh, protect me. <laughs> right so it's the same thing in cyber security also i can only the maximum i can complain is indian security head mm-hmm. cyber security head i cannot complain to the russian uh-huh. cyber security head uh-huh. but that guy will try to hack me yes so in the digital world it has become larger the threats have become larger larger so we need to be careful of that particular we need to be cognizant i'm, I'm very careful in the sense that whenever the elders in my house they are transacting any money mm. so i mean suddenly n number of websites that they visit so many ads come up and they end up clicking here and there yeah. and you i have to really go and see their mobile phones and see what have you all clicked mm. you know the whole phishing things that that are happening happening so suddenly uh, one day my father will come up to me and said oh this uh, certain phone which uh, was a uh, yesterday uh, on amazon for say 39000 triple line and is today they are selling it for 5000 mm. why don't you buy mm. this today so you get those messages mm. na and uh, that people actually say okay share this link on whatsapp and you will get this phone for free yeah. so the very simple people that we call our parents and our, and our seniors in the house and sometimes a lot of people our age group who are very uh, you know who, who are right now very immune <laughs> to the whole environment i i like now I'll, I'll slightly differ there in the sense that it is not only the uh, people like our parents yep. and non-techy people who are vulnerable to this. Mm. Jeff Bezos was hacked. Mm. His private messages were hacked, and who's, who's? Jeff Bezos, yes, Amazon CEO, yes, Jeff Bezos was hacked. Yes, I mean I can't think of any bigger techy than Jeff Bezos. Yes, when I have to be <laughs> expect, you know, it's like. Somebody hire a chief or police uh, official, and the robbery happens into your house only. <laughs> I, I mean, I cannot think of any. If he can be hacked, his phone can be hacked, hacked, and the private messages that he has and the photos that he has yes. can be splashed across the, the internet. internet. I think you know none of us are can say that I am a techie, and so I am very careful. <laughs> so the, the the why I am saying that is, as techies, we think we know how to be secure. right as you rightly said the police will have to be careful first first his house is the most vulnerable one because everybody is going to attack him yep right 
So similarly, the techie guys will say, ah, I can do whatever I want. So that's not the, so uh, why I'm saying it is all the techies will have to be careful. And in the cybersecurity, uh, anytime we are talking about the risk of this, there are only two variables. One is threat, one is vulnerability. Mm -hmm. How vulnerable you are, you are. How, how serious is the threat, threat. right? So one of the things that I would say is, like, like what happens in the physical world also. Just like COVID. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll come to how that. How vulnerable it is. Yeah. And how uh, and how, how big is the threat. Yes. And how vulnerable you are basically uh, as a person. You may have a good immunity. You have your place, things in place. Very yeah. true. And then I'll, I'll touch upon yeah. that. You, you bring in a right point, right? None of my family members got affected by COVID. Yes. So what That's I true. think, what I think, hmm. COVID is okay. Yeah. Because COVID it is not affect serious. you. Yeah. And when I walk out, uh, when I talk to people, that is what they say. Uh, it's okay. Because they, it has not affected them. Yes. But millions and millions of people in India, forget about everywhere. Mm. Millions and people, millions of people have uh, died. Mm. So just, be, and this is what some of the leaders are playing it on. Mm. Just because it has not affected me, so that doesn't exist. Mm. COVID is not true. Mm. Is the thing mm. that we think. Mm. Right? Similarly on cyber security, mm. there are people, vulnerable people, mm. but they are, you know, uh, they lose 25,000. Mm. Now, losing 25,000 or just losing 25,000 is mm. not a big news for NDTV. Mm. It's not a big news for Times, right? So they don't splash it. Mm. But any any political leader, yeah. you know, CM of uh, the state, mm. he loses 5 crores. Mm. They will splash it. That's the problem. Today, people like you and I, we are being affected by cybersecurity issues. Absolutely. You know, uh, it would have happened to you. Uh, it has happened a couple of times to me. Mm. Just of, you know, we get these emails from Nigeria mm. and a lot of these Sudan countries. And uh, I mean, I'm not naming any country. I mean, because it's not a country specific problem. I'm getting this now from US, by the way. Now the same, US. same. Thing. Correct. So, you know, it's the same template that they say, okay, we have this thing coming to free for you and a yeah. lot of things coming to free. However, you need to send say somewhere around 10,000 rupees um, for us to get ah. this shipment cleared from the customs. And so you say, okay, I'm getting Saman worth rupees, yeah. uh, 10, 20 lakh rupees. And I just need to put in 10,000, 1% of the cost and uh, that Saman will reach me. Point is, I'm, I'm almost 500,000 people end up paying that, that, that 10,000 and that money goes into some account that whenever you trace back two days later, it will not exist. Second thing, uh, Joseph, that I noticed is very recent thing, you know, when we, when we are writing stories and we are tracking the crime. Suddenly, my friend will write a Facebook message to me and say, okay, I uh, I need uh, 500 or yes. 1000 rupees. And then, you know, suddenly a friend writing to you, some, someone who you speak to almost every day or every second day on WhatsApp, writes a message to you on Facebook Messenger and says, okay, I, uh, I, I my phone has got damaged and everything. This is the only thing I, that, that I logged into. And believe me, without OTP now, even logging into Facebook has become very difficult. So, uh, send me 500,000, whatever, 500,000 mm -hmm. rupees. And uh, then immediately 100 and 200 of these friends, they end up yes. transacting into, into a particular Google Pay number and that, that number doesn't exist or whatever shit happens to that number. So, uh, and then that is a clone of your ID. I will create your ID, I will put your display picture only on it and your details only on it so that the person who logs into me is like, he is the guy. So how do you verify these accounts and how do you, what, how do you suggest our viewers to, you know, uh, be careful of all these spamming and phishing attacks yeah. and whatever we can call them. So if everything that you described, mm. which is on the Facebook uh, thing, right? Mm. This happened in our office. Mm. Some of our employees got an email mm. as if it is from the CEO mm. and, and this is a real thing that happened here in Chandigarh. Huh. Okay? So, because all of us will not look at from email ID. Mm. The from email ID will only say oh, just Sharma or mm. Joseph Jude. Right? Ah, that's it. But it is, it is something else. The from email ID itself is something else. Mm. And it says, I am stranded in Delhi mm. uh, and can you transfer this money to here and it looks very correct like I mean everything else like you no know, CEO all of those things are right mm. thankfully like you know, none, nobody said it mm. sent 
and uh, they verified they, it yeah, they verified and uh, you know we were able to stop uh, that particular thing but the point that i'm saying is these happen all the time now a okay. couple of things one is that uh, again you need to educate the, the first thing is the education right mm. second thing is even in physical world mm. i come to you and tell me tell you and in fact you know let me tell you uh, two days back i was uh, two weeks back i was talking to a friend of mine so mm. somebody came from um, bangalore here mm. uh, it, it was an ngo right spoke really well mm. nice mm. they were all talking nicely mm. and he said uh, see you guys are working so much uh, but you don't even have a car uh, a transport vehicle mm. i have a scorpio at home sitting mm. idle mm. uh if you give me 10000 rupees it's only shipping cost mm. i will ship from there to here mm. so they said he has been with us for four days he's he's nice he looks nice he talks to us nice mm. he spent all the money for food and everything mm. so they he gave him 10000 rupees mm. that's it <laughs> they never heard from back from him <laughs> so these are happening even in physical world right, right? and the same template is what is being used on the online also online at same template at least there you are not able to see the person culprit also yeah. you remember uh, uh, they were they were access to account logins you know happening on to my account as well and i shared that yeah. with you please so, verify it yeah so on the email part what i would say is at least this is what again mm. you know this is what i am following mm. what i would say is one don't have easy to guess passwords absolutely okay most of us will have 1 to 3 4 or, or the same password for almost every yeah. so months. like say for example i'm joseph jude jose 123 hmm. jj 123 hmm. something like that is what we will have it is very easy to guess that's one two not lot of sites have security properly put up hmm. they store the password in plain text form oh so when that site get hacked your password is also hacked right so when you use the same password in some other site mm. it's very easy to yes. identify and say okay you know this is the so you have the same email id and the password so it is easy to do it so what i would say is use a different password for different uh, sites mm. of course for mothers and fathers the advice is different but for most of us we can us. use something like one password there's a password manager mm. where you can store the passwords you mm. can generate the password for each of the sites mm. that is one I go a step further, like say for example Gmail. I'm assuming, like I mean, you might have a Gmail ID. Let's say for example you have your email ID. I don't know your email ID. I'm just making it up. Ojus at gmail dot com. Let's say for example, mm. Gmail has the feature Ojus plus Facebook at e gmail dot com. Mm. Ojus plus Twitter at gmail dot com. Okay. So you are using a different email ID for different services. Oh, right. So even if Twitter gets hacked and they get it your email, it will not affect the Facebook. Yes, because the ID will not. ID is different. Different. So you can use that. So for each of the sites, mm -hmm. you can use a different email ID yeah, also. Right. And most of the sites accept that plus symbol. If plus is not accepted, put a dot or something like that, and it is it is possible. Right. So use a different ID and a password. So mm -hmm. that is what I would like. That will protect you from seventy percentage of these kinds of issues. issues. the other one is when something like this happen if it is too good to be true and this happens in physical world also yes. in the investments people will walk up and say sir i will double your money in next year i mean if warren buffett couldn't uh, double his money in two years how can anybody do it mm. then that's a scam that's a fraud so we let be careful about it mm. so when i get an email saying you know i mean i'll double your money in uh, two years mm. i should know it's a fraud Mm. Whoever it is, mm. right? It's a, it's a fraud. So I let to be careful with that. Mm -hmm. So we people play with those emotions. Emotions. So we let to be careful. That with that. that that emotion of you know, ki sab jaldi ho jaye. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah. That that quick that fast gratification. You know, ki I uh, I'll get rich overnight. Yes. Oh, I'll let me put money here. I'm I'm getting this thing for free at half the price or that the price. So I think our audience is. pretty much aware of lot of things and if you are not aware i think you should take help from your brothers your sisters your children i i'm i'm just talking about a certain age group majorly because uh, their adaptation to to the sudden change of technology will not be as fast and fluid as perhaps you know us doing it right now because i am 
I am taking care of Joseph. You know, uh, that my father is not. I I'm I'm just giving him two three websites. Okay, even mm. if you buy something. Buy from three hundred, four hundred rupees extra from here, mm. or you just let me know what you want. Mm. I'll go go from go to the store because now rates are like you know yeah, everybody yeah. knows about it. Even if you go to the store to buy stuff, you have seen the online prices. Yeah, and you know they know you know <laughs> and they will offer you. They they know that you have seen Amazon and yes. Flipkart and you have come to buy the phone here only. So they'll so and even the companies are very smart. Because uh, even Amazon has to make money, even yes. the company directly has to make money, so they will offer you some discount at the store itself. Yeah, I I I I know Very because like, ये बात बिल्कुल हर जगह इधर stores वाले मेरे को जानते हैं, so they know me, <laughs> so they know if I want to buy a cell phone or something, they'll say okay, please come to us and we have this scheme ready yeah. for you, and I know. That they're going to honor me in some way or that, and 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 at least I can open and get the product check because, you know. Even through online shopping, you have heard cases yeah, of yeah. fake products yes. or used products or damaged products coming, and that's not that does not affect. I'm telling you point blank, the credibility of the brand, say like an Amazon or Flipkart. It is ultimately sellers like us and you and everybody who is doing this these malpractices, and not the brand. The brand is just there to make shopping very convenient for you. and so that you can sit at home and access all that but make sure that uh, i mean how joseph has guided us you know make sure that your passwords are a little uh, not so easy to guess or you may use different email ids um, i mean in my office you know we have an entire uh, lock and key system where at least there's a file printed with all ids mm-hmm. and everything because you know we have a huge um, but now joseph has also suggested a um, user password manager user password manager, manager. so that where in lock and key you can keep and you need a password for that also it's like the bank locker only yeah th- that a, that you can keep i mean you can yeah. keep or or somebody can keep right because i'll tell you would be very honest i think i'll have more than 900 900 1000 id yeah, yeah, on so many me too yeah i have so yeah, i absolutely so normal aadmi facebook twitter instagram tiktok hai bas gmail 2 4 5 6 8 10 bank mein 20 ids are sufficient for you but for people like us yeah. where we are dealing with almost thousands of ids and uh, using at least 50 of them every day i mean 1000 exists some you open once a month sometimes for this but you have to be very 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 and please trust legitimate otp passwords that are being generated i will say so le- le- let's come to the otp piece mm-hmm. of it in general the the i advise that don't share your otp yeah. is 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 a good one absolutely okay? so don't share your password uh, sorry otp and wherever so some most of these sites have this thing called where you can uh, verify with otp otp uh, so 2fa it is called so you can use that but on that unfortunately the authorities are undermining security in my opinion i'll, I'll tell you why mm. uh, the whole aadhar might be secure the aadhar itself might be secure mm. the aadhar card yeah. the aadhar card system, the yeah. this the ecosystem around it mm. may not be and i'll tell you why okay i do not know anybody who files their tax returns by themselves absolutely okay very few i think i'll tell you just 5% perhaps of the indian population does that yeah 95% doesn't and probably they are all chartered accountants yep okay you and i we don't uh, if we want we can but why would we do it right i mean that's why we have chartered accountants mm. who manage all of that now your chartered accountant the the uh, the finance uh, person Yeah, uh, from the chartered accountant, he calls you and says, "Sir, I am filing uh, your tax return for this year, mm. and I have to link it with Aadhaar mm. uh, to verify it. Mm. That's the procedure." Mm. And he says, "Okay, like now you'll get an OTP. Tell me the OTP mm. so that I can link it. Mm. This is genuine. Mm. You will have to give that OTP to him, mm. right? What the people authorities will say is, don't share the OTP. Mm. Don't. Uh, I mean, you file the return. Why would I file the return? That's not practical, mm. right? So then." 10 minutes later the same guy calls you sir that didn't go through mm. so give me i have generated another otp please give me this otp mm. what is this otp for otp is for to change the phone number in other other database oh now you give the otp thinking he is doing it for uh, filing for uh, the ah. tax returns ah. he has changed the password ah. he has changed the phone number now everywhere it is connected is changed ah. now you are vulnerable ah. so our authorities will also have to work to protect this mm. the the thing is we all put the blinder 
this particular piece is safe i think that's the trust that you pass on to people that you believe in and i think sometimes you are just stabbed over with that trust yes thing. yes and so i i think like i mean as a whole as a system you need to think it is not just one element in which you are secure yes it is a whole like you you talked about covid and covid has brought that out very very clearly mm. i might be rich i might be able to afford huge healthcare yes so i never bothered about the general public healthcare in india mm. but only when covid hit us the rich people also that is when they realized oh my god the total general healthcare matters mm. because i am vulnerable if they are vulnerable mm. and i didn't get the bed uh, because all of them are occupied in the uh, bed and i know people mm. who had three cars four cars they couldn't get bed and they lost their loved ones mm. right so instead of thinking only about myself and in a very uh, uh, you know narrow manner with a blind folder i think we need to look at as a holistic people because only when everybody is safe i am safe only when everybody is healthy i am healthy because these are transmittable ones whether it is covid or the security issues they are transmittable yes so i think we need to look at it a larger picture and say okay as a system as a society how can we be safe absolutely how can we be healthy and how can we be moral yes uh, we have to think about that that's what yes, i have to say ki the 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 th- the threats that lie on the internet uh, are not a physical damage that mm. they do to you i think it's more emotional mm. and intellectual damage that they do to you basically it's prevention is better than cure yes, right absolutely prevention is prevention is absolutely come good. come 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 dhyan se close close the door close the door close the door okay. ah. so we have uh, two very very special guests with us i i can see them and if you can see them as well come 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 on to our show please out so he is uh, joseph's uh, younger son and he is the technically crazy boy and you are please come and introduce yourself and i'll pass on the mic to you please introduce come come sit i'm josh garrett and i um, sit, i'm sit, the creative sit. guy sit 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 you sit. are the creative guy he is the creative guy and apna batao i uh, edit videos with nomora x and i create games in roblox studio how old are you i'm 8 year- 9 he's 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 8 years old and he's turning 9 years and he is producing uh, he's editing videos he's playing games he's live streaming the games and which game do you play i play the game called roblox roblox and what what is the best thing you like about uh, the game i uh, like um, some stuff like uh, there are some games i really like to play those type of games are called obbies obbies yeah ये तो कोई नई चीज ही है विच इज आई एम एब्सोल्युटली नॉट अवेयर बट आई गेस आई विल हैव टू गो होम एंड सर्च एंड व्हेन आई एंटर्ड होम ही वाज एक्चुअली प्रैक्टिसिंग गिटार व्हिच वाज कनेक्टेड विद द आईपैड सो आर यू यूजिंग द गैराज बैंड और हाउ आर यू लर्निंग आई देयर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड कोच गिटार एंड आई लर्न लर्न गिटार थैंक्स टू दैट आई वाज लर्निंग अ सॉन्ग कॉल्ड सेंट्स गो मार्चिंग बाय kamal so, hai so so as he plays ha huh. the ipad will capture the chords that he is playing huh. and it will say whether he is playing right or wrong right so you see uh, i mean this is the beauty of our show i mean when i entered home this boy he was so much interested in coming into the video and i'm glad and i'm so happy to have these children on to our show and you know just to tell ki we are not just working towards you know ensuring that we have a safe society online but we are also ensuring that our kids uh, you know don't fall into yeah. um uh, illicit traps or mal practices that are um, uh, trying to build their inroads into our houses you know yes. through through the internet so that you are aware we are all aware and i think uh, what is what, what do you do on the internet um i mostly create games and create videos for my youtube channel is create you are creating games yes create games i also create eh? i also create games and upload for my youtube channel <laughs> joseph i think it's time for us to go back to college you think 
I'm learning from them. I told you, right? I'm yeah. learning from them. Ah. <laughs> and they're so happy. So, what games have you created? Uh, I've one created a tower game uh, in which you have to go through obstacle courses. Ah. And the next one I'm still making. It's like a score game. It you have to go through obstacles, and there'll be scores you can compete with other players. Ko samjhe bhai yo aur behno. I'm making a game in which uh, it's like obstacles, and you can uh, test your time. And I um, mean, uh, there'll be times on the leaderboard, and you can get your time with obstacles. आपने ये शब्द सुने हैं obstacle leaderboard. He's eight years old. He's making games, live streaming them onto YouTube. And uh, how many subscribers do you have? I started three months ago, but I only have thirty-five subscribers. Guys, if you are one of those thirty-five sub- subscribers, I salute you, and I also uh, urge my audience, our channel audience, to what's your channel's name? It's a uh, Roblox thing. It's called Ace Plays Roblox. Huh? Ace Plays Roblox. It says gamer tag Ace. Ace Plays Roblox. So that is the channel, and so he's streaming everything related to Roblox right now. And you see how happy he is, huh? <laughs> hey? So yeah. you should you should say thanks. And you subscribe. And me? and what were you telling him in the beginning? Did you search for me on the internet? Yes. What did you find about me on the internet? इसने आने से पहले पूरे गूगल पे मेरे बारे में ढूंढ के रखा था. When I entered their house, he was so happy. What did you? क्या ढूंढा आपने? I just went up to YouTube and searched Rolling Frames Entertainment. Oh, so what should you tell people to do? Subscribe to your channel. सुनो 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 बच्चे बच्चे को पता है और आपको नहीं पता एंड वॉट यू डू एंड यू यू से समथिंग नाउ um about my channel we have two uh, we have uh, so i have two channels one is a main channel with my brother mm. and then there is a the next channel just like that for uh, roblox in my main channel i upload all the creative stuff like uh, doing art and craft doing movies uh, doing uh, comedies co- uh, comedy shows and all mm. then um, the, for roblox i just play them and then i uh, record it and put it on youtube mm. You see the amount of talent these kids have. I mean, they are studying, they are learning their art, they are also doing something that makes them happy. So, do you, do you enjoy doing it? Yes, I enjoy doing flower and creating games and playing. ये जितना खुश है ना, he's he's the shy one and yes. he's the happy one, है ना? Yes. So I got it right. Yes. चलो जाओ ना, go and enjoy and let yes. me and Papa talk. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so Joseph, uh, uh, o- o- over all these years you have been um, staying in Chandigarh yeah. since how many years? Seven years. Seven We years. Completed so, seven years. Seven, seven years. Nine. So how how has Chandigarh been to you? See, <laughs> see, I don't have any roots here. Right. Right. So uh, you come from? I come from Tamil Nadu. Ah. Uh, and uh, I I come from a almost on the southern tip, Tuthukudi. Yes. Uh, so which is about three kilometer, uh, three uh, hours from Kanyakumari. Kanyakumari. Which is the, right. So I'm I'm, I'm coming. From there, right. So, so I came here to start a startup. Basically, uh-huh. uh, it didn't work out. Like you know, only eighty percent, uh, almost about eighty percent of the startups fail. So mine is one of them. Right. But what only eighty percent of startups fail? <laughs> no, no, no. no. Very I, I want to. I want to say only twenty percent uh, <laughs> succeed. Uh-huh. But uh, the reason why I'm here is because of the people around. Okay. And um, you know it, it's a nice city. Uh, so those are the two uh, primary things. In fact, my wife liked this place. My kids liked this place. Mm. Those so they said, "Can we stay here and find something?" Now, the people. I'll, I'll tell you a couple of things about the people. Okay, I've, I've met fabulous uh, people here. Mm. Uh, the I mean the first one is the owner of this house. Mm. Seven years I'm here. Uh, if not for his generosity and if his uh, love, I don't think I would be here. We have become friends with uh, him, his family, his daughters, you know, all of those kinds of stuff. Fantastic uh, family. Um, then there are quite a lot of people. Uh, I, I can uh, Munish Jor is another one I will say because I would, uh, so when I came here, I didn't know a lot of people. Only the team that I knew here yes. were there. He was w- one of the first ones I met. outside of that closed circle that i knew mm. when i came here and he supported me in almost anything i would tell him hey munish i i'm writing a book self published book mm. 
and here is the first page i have sent mm. and where did you upload and i would have uploaded somewhere and i quoted uh, i would charge 50 dollars he'll go and buy it mm. i've written only one page that's the kind of a, and because you bought it i will go and write that now i mean very seriously i'll go and write and i will publish it that's the kind of a support i had and uh, he and then of course like i mean uh, i become a really good friend with aditi who is my uh, colleague in uh, net solutions yeah. of course samir uh, with aditi we discuss family kids everything we discuss not just as a as a colleague but then uh, I can go on naming a lot of people. I mean, it is only because of the people that I met here yes. uh, that I'm here for seven years. Otherwise, so Chandigarh I is basically this whole region has a lot of good people. Yeah, of course, uh, absolutely. See, I, I met some Tamil people. There's a colony here yes. nearby. Uh. So, I mean, we became a lot of good friends and everywhere, uh, every, uh, everything with them. But during COVID, one of the guy, he is, works in this municipal uh, things. Mm. He came and said, uh, Madam, you can't go out. So don't worry about it. You tell me what you want. Mm. I will go and buy and give it to you. Mm. For almost six months to eight months, every week he will come. Mm. He will get what we want, or or we'll. I mean, my wife will tell him. The, tell her. the, the Tamil spices yeah, Tamil. and everything. everything. He everything. will he will buy everything. I mm. mean, we didn't yeah. have to go out at all. Mm. So lot of nice people I met. Uh, I mean, everywhere I met, I only met nice people. I don't know how, but maybe it is my luck. <laughs> But uh, I mean, ton of people I've met. Uh, I would, I would, um, I can go on like uh, there is. I mean, you and I know Ritika and Harith. Mm. Uh, they are my sounding boards for the coaching program that I have. I call them up every time whenever I have mm. some questions or whatever. Mm. Um, I mean, I have ton of people uh, like this. Um, mm. I don't know. I've been lucky here meeting all of these kinds of people. You see, I, I told you in the beginning, right? Uh, when I started the podcast, podcast, I discussed with you and you gave that idea. I, I said, that's that's a nice idea. I mean, that's that's a different thinking. Mm. So that's how I did that. So every venture that I have done, mm. I've been lucky to get somebody who would advise me mm. in, a, in a right direction, right way mm. to do that. So... Kabhi bhi kisi ko aap advice karein, jose ki it happened in my case, you know. Uh, advise people on the right thing. Yeah. I will always say some people advise you so that you can fall. Mm. I mean, that's not an advice. Um, <laughs> I mean, if it if my uh, advice has actually helped Joseph and it has also further helped, it will not just help him. It will help people who connect with him. And so I'm really happy, Joseph, that uh, whatever I suggested worked for you. I am. Yeah. I am well, I uh, whatever I had in my mind, I no. It's a, it's a it's a sensible idea, mm -hmm. and I, I think it is also coming from wanting to build a society which is inclusive. Yes. Not just worship the uh, you know the the far away heroes, mm -hmm. but so John Wooden, he's a coach. Mm -hmm. He used to say this. Mm -hmm. We can learn a lot from those distant heroes, but we can also learn from the heroes around us. I always felt one thing, which I again have to speak here on the show, is that you know somewhere as a as a, as a, as a society here in I will call this as an Indian society that we have, and and that's across the world, yeah. right? Because we are based everywhere, so we 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 have roots from India, and we can live and explore life anywhere. I think somewhere down the line over the years we. If we were growing intellectually, you know, we had access to information, knowledge, and everybody became a self-proclaimed mm -hmm. di diet coach also, self-coach also, and uh, people having very minuscule experiences became life coach. I mean, yeah. you haven't seen life. How can you become life coach? Right? <laughs> I wanted to say that you How said can that. somebody like 25 year old, I am a life coach. I'm yeah. sure. So, what do you do in life? And how can you coach 50 year old people who have, who have been mothers, fathers, on, on you know, how to become a good mother, father? You have not chosen to be that yourself, right? First. So, somewhere down the line, Joseph, I felt, you know, we grew up with a sense. I, know, I don't know where we were taught to be insecure. Eh? Mm -hmm. you, have, you are constantly insecure. Lo kya kahenge, what will people say? What will people say? One thing that we were wrong. Second is lack of self worth. Mm -hmm. the, again, the same thing. When you have, when I have Joseph and he is so well versed in technology and I know him as a friend, he is the right person that RFE, Rolling Film Entertainment, will find uh, to get onto the stage. I mean, a lot of people call me, oh, you call this guy, you call this guy, you call this guy. I said, they already have the mediums. I know mm. heroes who have done a lot but have mm. nothing 
to you know no medium to reach out to and you know to to come up with and that's the idea when i was also conceiving you know when when our when our company was conceiving i mean i we could have just kept it uh, to us and not share it but when joseph just called me and he said ki i'm planning to do this i said okay because if i am convinced with a thought i will only share that i cannot share thoughts which i am not convinced with so guys whenever you feel people are doing good work around you acknowledge them appreciate yeah. them yeah I mean, I will use uh, this line of Punjabi that you see, we also mix the banana with you. You are you are made from that same soil, mm. right? You have those same genes, those same roots, and that same cultural influence. I mean, I've seen people quoting some some person in Russia. I mean, what the hell, man? You don't you are living in a country which I am calling the largest populated country, one of the world's largest superpowers. You know, I mean. If you don't call yourself a superpower, no one will. They will call their country superpower. Now, why will they call? Okay, you are a superpower, and you you are very well learned. Thirty years of our life, we are just acquiring education. Even after that, we don't have self worth. Then it's a failure system. Now, every year in the company, we are undergoing trainings, constant trainings. Ten twenty years back, I was learning HTML and CSS. 10 years back i was learning windows as your android was just in place apple had just put their apis on on the table right uh, 10 back 12 years back i was uh, working on linux right we found uh, some softwares were just made for windows and linux i had to give up because the softwares didn't have compatibility oh. mac was very rigid at that time to incorporate lot of designing softwares you know it mm. they build their own things but then to use them you need to buy their machines so you constantly figured out because as a company we were investing on large scale hardware you know when you have spent uh, say 2.5 lakhs on a system you can't be buying everything every 6 months so mm. a new mac has come or you have to reap that investment yeah. for at least some n number of years and uh, so we have constantly grown out of that and somewhere i am actually proud of what we have achieved so somewhere we went insecure so first of all if we are going insecure in a society i feel that we need to sit around and talk about it but if we are going insecure on the internet we have the right man <laughs> to guide us joseph one one piece of advice or one two three n number of advices that you can always share to our viewers on 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 internet security and also a little bit on the morality side of it yeah on the internet security again it, it's the same thing right i mean you always check uh whatever that you are searching mm. uh, so say for example you go to google uh, and then you are searching on something mm. uh, and it comes up say for example icca bank or or whatever uh, that you are searching for check where there, there is something called there will be a lock padlock on the uh, address bar saying whether they have that digital secu uh, security uh, installed on their web server yes so that's one thing that you can check whether it is the authentic uh, site yes i have seen sites like you know iccbank.com but they will have icci-bank.com right now you will type and i say say that will come in and you will think that's right mm. and you will go on right uh, this has happened to me a lot okay so i i would want to go for white house i want to search something on the white house you mm. type white house and there is one thing called whitehouse.com mm. another uh, sorry whitehouse.org mm. which is the official one right but the wrong one is whitehouse.com .com and you will assume that it is a it's also a genuine one and you will go and right so you will have to be careful in what uh, the search results are coming in mm. and then what you are seeing it right the other one is as you rightly said we are getting bombarded with lot of emails now with whatsapp every day somebody is forwarding something or the other absolutely do not click anything that is there in that if at all you go type say for example it says like now you click here hcfc will give you a card a free card which is valid for life let's mm -hmm. say for example go search on uh, hdfc uh, website website if it is not there it is not there not there so they are they are trying to take away all of your information right the other one is uh, whatever phone that you are using now you know i uh, apple used to say it is very privacy conscious and everything but if you dig deeper the claims are not really very true of course comparatively it might be a lot more uh, privacy oriented but when you dig deeper it is not really true mm -hmm. so both of them are in that particular sense okay but when you are getting an android phone be careful in what you are installing right because in ios uh, in the apple you can only install from the apple store mm -hmm. so they are all very secure and they are all very tested yes 
but when you are in in android you can install from, from anywhere untrusted sources untrusted sources yes. i will send you something uh, or just install this if you install this you will get 5 500 rupees on your account hmm. maybe it is also true i click on it i install it you get 500 rupees in your google pay okay hmm. yeah yeah he's right but that is sitting there and uh, transmitting all of your contact details to my server right so that's a backdoor entry a trojan yeah. perhaps you know so be careful about mm -hmm. that like it, it's the same thing you know in a in a physical world in a normal world now you brought your car here if somebody comes up and says sir give me your car i will uh, take the car out mm -hmm. will you give it mm -hmm. you will say i will go and do it why would yeah. you do it you tell me why i should do it mm -hmm. and even if he says uh i have to move out because of whatever uh, number of you will say okay i'll go and do it you are unknown mm. it's the same thing why would you trust an unknown person with uh, the data that That's is in your uh, thing right so you have to be careful about that the other uh, thing lot of people say is whenever we talk about privacy and security i have nothing to hide mm. if you have nothing to hide uh, give me your key mm. key to your house i will come and uh, take whatever that you have at home mm. so we have to be careful i mean all of us mm. we have certain things that are in public i know a lot about you on what is in the public absolutely right because i'm a friend to you i know a little bit about you but i'm sure there are still things that are private to you absolutely and you would want to keep that private private correct right oh i am very open person do whatever you want that's that's not the attitude right mm. so similarly on the internet also mm. i have nothing to hide no you have something to hide mm. not it is not about hiding it's about what i want to keep it private which is what me i want to keep that to myself yes right so we all need the privacy again as i said mm. it is only as a common good that we can grow mm. so if i say mm. i become the weaker chain weaker link in the chain mm. then i make the whole chain vulnerable mm. so i say no no it's all okay i will forward this to everybody so i have told my wife and my family members do not forward if you have not confirmed that news yes so we immediately will forward like number five people 50 people 20 people will forward mm. verify whether that news is right so right. don't spread fake news i mean fake news. i mean unverified news i will not say use the word fake but uh, sorry to use it yeah. uh, but unverified is the right word unless you know that's verified because then there are people who blindly trust you and unverified uh, news coming from them uh, coming from you would actually you know impact their trust in you absolutely so i send you something mm. i mean i got some forward and i forward it to you you will not trust me next time yep. right since we are talking about the wrong news unverified news yesterday there was a news all over the place that tata sons have won the bid for air india mm. i thought this is nice and we feel nostalgic because tatas are the one who opened uh, the first flights in india so everybody started forwarding mm. then government of india came in and said no this is uh, this is not uh, true mm. so even that are all happening and it's all it, it was all over the place twitter uh, linkedin everywhere it was in there ab aap cheez ko samjhe ki internet was built to to create and share information that was the first thing emails were made to replace postcards basically and letters that could be exchanged within 5 minutes between two people who were living distantly the first thing that we learn when we are actually doing computer sciences or an information technology graduation and a post graduation program is the evolution and why something came into existence why whatsapp was created you know to exchange information for free to share some pictures some close net and that's how facebook also was created as a harvard network to to exchange and yeah. do that but you see ki it's it's you know the flip side of the coin when there is a coin it will not have the two sides that look like the same and you know what that is called a khota sikka theek hai so technology is not a quota sikka wherever you have in it's you know you have to subscribe to or say follow the legitimate handles uh, the legitimate uh, profiles the legitimate websites and then there are websites that publish and create news and uh, all sorts of things around that so be careful on what you are accessing also that is what i feel joseph very true very true so be careful and you know you they i mean harz kya hai you know pick up the phone call and 
ask somebody you trust na yeah is it true is it uh, i'll just take a minute i've just been getting these messages i got otps one day from the bank and i had to hmm. actually call my office and said i am not initiated hmm. or uh, um Uh, so th- there's a bank message ki um, uh, kindly plug in the otp and do this and do that and i'm like i immediately called my office and i said ki i have not approved of any transaction of of such amount so uh, i mean uh, and secondly when there was an incoming payment also i it was the first time that the bank had written to me because whenever money is debited from my account i get a message mm-hmm. okay are you sure you want to initiate this transaction but whenever i am credited money i never get an otp hmm. but first time i got an otp that uh, this uh, amount hmm. is going to be credited a uh, gift send otp <laughs> then i called the office said we have not initiated anything so then i actually what i did was i took those screenshots i wrote to that respective bank hmm. that see yes. these are the ids and this is that this is the numbers this is the email ids that i have been receiving sms from please put them onto your server and take necessary action so that it may not impact now if you are learned and if you know similar damage can be done because you know our family accounts perhaps are all in the similar bank only if it has affected you it will affect your family only do it from that thing only so i did that and i mean you can't be going over it again and again but at least once i did that i informed yeah. the authorities uh, the bank team that you know this is being done so please do not credit any money into my account or debit anything from my account till the next 48 hours i'll use some other service or i'll withdraw some cash from the atm and use it for money so sometimes you have to be very careful about these things and and also these kinds of informative sessions mm. um unfortunately like i mean we couldn't have this in hindi mm. but in a in a local languages yes it has to spread yes now we cannot pass it on only to government we cannot pass it on only to mainstream media absolutely but all of us like i mean what you shared now yes. okay this is what happened to me this is what i did that particular thing is not getting propagated yes right so the more we have sessions like this yes in the vernacular languages hmm. i think that is where it is going to be a lot more pro- you know yes. effective so when we had started recording this uh, program for you guys so i actually know that joseph uh, is well versed in tamil and in english so we had to do this program specially for our uh, audience in <laughs> tamil nadu and then, and then you know and uh, people who can understand english because joseph can speak uh, comfortably in english so if you are watching this program and you find you found out a few uh catch points that you want to share it with people please share it further if you watch uh i can't say how much people will share this video because uh it's all up to them uh all up to you guys how much you support our programs uh but share the ideas yeah. that yeah i got this thing i am aware of at least it will help you mm. and if we are able to help at least 100 200 300 people through a program i think we have done our job done all. and that that's that's what the classroom mantra is you know <laughs> you, when you walk into a classroom you cannot inspire the entire Every, batch yes. to <laughs> yes. to be the topper because then who will be the topper if everybody tops i just tell absolutely absolutely so joseph how's it been today on on rp unplugged of course like you now it is every time i meet you uh, i learn something new and have right? you been fortune, following rfp unplugged all the promos and all the episodes uh, I, i told you right i mean uh, i watch including whatsapp statuses that you put in yeah that i watch uh. the videos that you put in i watch of course like i mean my son is a fan of you mm. uh, what else i can what did he say <laughs> he says he wants to intern with rfp so i'm like you know we we have uh kids who want to work with us and i hope that when we, when we are also able to uh produce stories uh, that are more s- uh, focused and centric around uh, the world building of children so i i i would love to have uh, uh, your boys you know sure. uh, sharing their creative ideas and then really putting our <laughs> vfx team to work <laughs> because they will some throw some ideas and you know then that will be like they will come up with the budget to me and say sir whatever the young lad spoke so this, this will you you need to sell your cars for it <laughs> <I> just, like <laughs> probably will <laughs> that will happen <laughs> so, so my my younger one uh, is uh, I mean now is all into games and everything at one point in time he was all into cars mm. so one time he came and told me a car name uh i haven't heard of that uh, so i went on site and i searched for it and i found out one time oil change mm. cost 6000 dollars mm. 
I said that's my car mm. rate. Mm. <laughs> I can't even think of this car. Yeah. So yeah, probably you will have to sell your car, car. if it comes to you. Yeah. So uh, so I was just asking, how has your experience been uh, on you know watching R F E unplugged and all the episodes? So R F E is one, but generally your whole body of work, right? Mm. What I liked is you take. That's why I believe. I mean, even though you don't agree, I believe you are kind of an anti-authoritarian kind of a thing. in the sense that i've not seen lot of people do uh, topics on transgender uh, even jollyan bola bag you would have seen a regular documentary okay what happened in the very thing okay you you went in a different angle uh, to that uh, so that's what i like it is not in in tamil we have something called uh, you know i mean arachamavi arakirathu what it means is Please to say that again so arachamavi arakirathu what it means is the same topic has been handled again and again in the same form but rather you took a different dimension and a lens and said okay this is how you need to look at it and you know as a society we need to look at it right and uh, even in these sessions that you are having rfe sessions the youtube uh, things that kind of interviews that you are doing uh, i've been watching some of these uh, guests who are coming in they are all heroes in their own uh, uh, manner but again the the messages that we talked about right it is building the society as a whole which is what i like right because as as i repeatedly said many a times on whether it is raising up kids whether being secure in any or moral any of these kinds of stuff it's the common good uh, i cannot be like even even in covid we talked about it right i cannot be healthy on my own only when my society is healthy, healthy i am healthy yes only when my so, uh, society is secure i am secure only when my society raises up kids in a particular form my kids will be uh, safe and secure and uh, healthy right so in that particular sense i really applaud what you are doing in that particular sense and i really mean that uh, from bottom of my my heart um, so i think i mean kudos to you thank you thank you joseph and for all the work that you are doing to you know uh, empower people and, and bring out good stories through your podcast and uh, also to secure uh, the environment that we are uh, that is existing right now on the internet uh, we have some goodie hampers for for you oh. from our uh, partners and sponsors uh, this is from aroma musk to joseph thank jude you. thank you thank you uh, thank you thank and you. then we have a hamper from elistos uh for joseph jude thank you very much thank you thanks right thank you this was one brainstorming session that i had and this is perhaps um one of its own kind uh, episode that we have done totally uh, completely in english i would say and wo kya kehte hai na with i a little bit of hindi will definitely flood of me ki uh बस सतर्क रहें सावधान रहें सो दैट यू नो सेफ्टी एंड सिक्योरिटी एंड इंश्योरिंग दैट वी आर ग्रोइंग इन अ सेफ एनवायरनमेंट एंड अ वेरी सेंसिबल एनवायरनमेंट एंड इन हिंदी ना व्हाट पीपल से की थोड़ी यार पढ़े लिखों वाली बात किया करो सो व्हाट इज द पॉइंट ऑफ एजुकेशन व्हेन यू कांट इंप्लीमेंट इट देयर इज नो uh don't have don't be sympathetic towards people be empathetic okay mm. if you have knowledge you have a knowledge of the in- information and technology the cyber security so you can help out people maybe you can help the local authorities and if you are hesitant to reach out to uh say any way you feel that you need to share something confidential some miss happening that has happened over the internet i am pretty sure joseph is is is, is the right person and he'll be happy to help anyone uh, who writes to him and joseph can be contacted through uh, major linkedin he is he, is there on linkedin so if you are there on linkedin you can always uh, search for joseph jude and uh, so you will find lot of things about him he's an it he's a coach he's a speaker and and lot of things and uh, a father to to wonderful boys and a very good husband and so whenever we grow we grow in a uh, totality yeah. and and i think if you are not a good husband you're not a good father you're not a good son i think there is no way you can do good to people ye wo it's like the same feeling ki apni peet ghar ki taraf aur mundi jo hai wo logon ki taraf so don't be that person and be somebody who you are truly are and be that knowledgeable person any last words to the people joseph uh, it has been wonderful yeah. being part of this particular group yeah. so uh, 
I, it has been really really so, nice thank stay you stay tuned with us this. and uh, keep watching more episodes of rp unplugged uh, i am ojasvi sharma and uh, with us i am joseph jude we have joseph jude and keep watching rp unplugged on rolling frames entertainment see you in the next episode thank you